Threadbanger, welcome back to Decor It Yourself. I love vintage furniture. Most of our pieces are hand-me-downs or pieces we found in vintage stores like Ugly Luggage. I've been dying to revamp our dining room chairs and this awesome ottoman from my Nana. First, turn your chair over and unscrew the seat to separate it from the frame. Measure and cut your fabric to fit your seat cushions, leaving an extra three to four inches. To work out any wrinkles, go ahead and steam your fabric. Now we're going to use a staple gun to attach our fabric to the seat. Lay your fabric good side down and put the seat on top. Pulling your fabric tautly, carefully staple it to the bottom of the seat. Watch out for fingertips along the way. Fold the corners, tucking or trimming excess fabric to create a nice clean crease. And repeat for all four corners. Place the newly covered seat cushion back onto the frame of the chair and take your screwdriver and screws and reattach your seat. And voila! I just revamped my antique chairs in an array of rad fabric. For more upholstery how-tos, check out ReadyMade and Craft Zine. And go on over to Design Sponge to see how Jessica redid her chair. And when we come back, we're going to reupholster my favorite ottoman from my grandmother. Every day, your finger makes countless selfish clicks. How about a couple for your friends? Share Threadbanger. It's as easy as one, two, three. And then you can get back to whatever it was you were doing. To recover an old ottoman, find some organic fabric like this lovely Lakeview print from the gorgeous Ruby Green. Take your ottoman and measure the perimeter of your large top piece. Now measure the width of the second piece that wraps around the ottoman. To make piping, take a piece of twine or cord that is the same length as the perimeter of your ottoman. Then cut a piece of fabric that is the same length. Now place the twine in the middle of the fabric and fold the fabric in half. Now sew a top stitch along the side of the twine. You just made some piping, my friend. Now place your top piece of fabric good side up. Now take your piping and place it along the edge of the square, pinning to get the correct shape. Now take your second piece of fabric and fold a half inch seam along the bottom. Sew a top stitch to create a nice clean edge. Now take your second piece of fabric with the seam you just created and place it right next to the piping, sandwiching the piping in between your two pieces of fabric. Now sew a nice clean top stitch all along the perimeter and attach the ends of your second piece of fabric. Now shimmy your new cover over your ottoman and using your staple gun, pull the fabric tautly and staple it to the bottom of your ottoman. Now take a hammer and nails, fold your fabric under, and slowly and carefully nail them in. And voila! We've reupholstered this great vintage piece. Our friend Leah from the forums needs to recover her IKEA couch cushions. To do this, make two pieces of piping and cut out two of your square pieces in addition to the one long rectangular piece. Add a zipper to put your cushion in. Hi, I'm Courtney from Honeysuckle Creations. I'm going to show you today how to make these cute little candle holders out of vintage slides. You're going to want to make sure that these are plastic. Um, if you're going to put them around any sort of heat or light, today I've picked four slides that are all a family on vacation. I'm gonna share a handy dandy high temp glue gun and just glue the sides together. And you're just gonna pop a little battery operated tea light and just pop that right in the center. Glitter them up or have them match whatever room. Like I did with this lampshade right here, I painted all of the mounts a nice teal color to match our guest bedroom. For more crafty ideas, visit my website at honeysucklecreations.etsy.com. This week's quick tip is a homemade linen spray. Combine one teaspoon of lavender essential oil, one fourth cup of unflavored vodka, and three and a half cups of filtered water in a spray bottle. Shake and spray to make your upholstery smell fresh. And DIYers, send in your home decor videos because one of you will win a hot pink toolbox from Bust Magazine. Until next week, peace out.